Hi guys, and welcome to another kit review. All right, so today we're having a look at a kit from Tamiya in 135th scale, and it is Tamiya's Wehrmacht Tank Crew set. Okay, this is a pure figure kit. It came out in 2017. The kit number is 35354, and it includes eight figures. You get four full-size figures, so to speak, and four half-size figures to go into your hatches, etc. Which is a pretty good deal. Um, definitely worth picking this one up. If you want tank crew, it's got eight figures in it. Most of them only have three or four. So this one cost me around $15, $18 Australian, which uh, I thought was pretty good, seeing as I haven't seen this one around for at least a year or so okay so there's your standard Tamiya box art the really nice detailing really good faces love their box art you do get two kneeling figures two standing figures and as I said four half size figures all right so let's have a look at the rest of the box on this side you've got just the accessories that you'll get with this kit pistols cap binoculars headsets these are the standard awards that you'll see on your german soldiers knight's cross iron cross etc panzer badge on the other side okay these are your shoulder boards and insignia and what looks like a map so that i think is um a cut out I'm not sure if it's going to be a cut out like this or actually on a piece of paper we'll have a look inside and that's basically it the Japanese about probably something about panzer crews in the war all right so that's the box and this is a top opening box not your usual end opening box so really love this let's have a look instructions unusually Okay, separate instructions for each figure, alternate uh, side cap or full crusher cap, binoculars, kneeling figures, these are your different figures and it has paint call outs all the way through which is really like, and it even includes mounting posts for your half figures, okay, so that you can mount that into your tank and they'll just stand in the right position. So that I like it's really good this is even better this is a color basically uh, detailing your piping etc pink for panzer troops early pattern jacket had the piping around the collar edge that was uh, later dispensed of I think early in the war they got rid of that and it also details your badges and medals crim shield okay even the cuban shield so these would go on the left sleeve usually okay so that's not bad i love that that's beautiful and on the other side same again okay detailing hopman and sold that which is basically your, your enlisted soldier these are just examples of where the decals go that you get with this kit love that it's brilliant i think that should be a, a standard in all kits this is just advertising for tamia's lacquer paint and a listing on the other side here we've got the decal sheet okay and we'll have a look at those and shortly first out we've got one sprue figures on it and the other sprue okay so what i can see so far really nice detail we'll get rid of the box give me a second and i'll open this all up okay so first off Let's have a look at the decal sheet. So I'll see if I can get this in focus for you. 
as you can see shoulder boards collar tabs all right even the pink badges for the caps okay your breast eagles different colors depending on what year you're going to model these on your awards so iron cross when you got an iron cross you had a ribbon to put on your coat panzer badge even the crimea and cuban shields that go on the left sleeve okay so i really do like those and i think i hope this is something that Tammy will continue with for all its figure kits because that's perfect and i think all manufacturers should supply those for their figure kits all right so that's the decals okay so first brew out is this one this has four figures on it these are your half figures so to speak it does have the mounts for inside the tanks vehicles etc it also has separate headsets arms heads etc and other accessories like binoculars and caps and things so let's have a look in detail so there's your headsets they can go over the head around the neck or just be placed next to the hatch um, all you would have to do is just add the leads uniform detail the folds in the uniform is really beautiful really nicely done being a 2017 kit there's a little bit of mold line to clean up but not much the faces are really nice okay really really nice that's almost yeah that's pretty close to a resin detailed resin face so i do like that these figures are hugely improved on have a look at the faces they're great yes they're definitely tamia's um molding on these faces is beautiful the uniforms etc the caps the binoculars it's all really sharp the folds are beautiful okay really nicely detailed the faces are excellent so i love them that so i would hope to say this will be the norm from now on from tamia as you can see it does have separate lapels collars for the figures right that's um awesome i do like that I do like that a lot. Even a separate base and top for your cap. All right. For your crusher cap. That's beautiful. Let's have a look at the other side. Same again. Look at the detail on the uniform. The folds are nice and crisp and sharp and sharp. Oh yeah. So this is a huge, huge improvement on figures. And like I said, this is very much um, those figures, the faces, etc., are very, very close to what you would get with an expensive resin kit. So that's awesome. So that's the half figures. and here are the full figures so as you can see again separate heads arms caps etc you've got two kneeling figures and two standing figures this one has a separate leg so don't worry he's not legless <laughs> you do get binoculars etc 
So let's have a look. So it appears you only get four headsets because there are no headsets on this sprue. But that's understandable because two of these guys are kneeling outside the tank. They wouldn't have the headset on. And if they're standing outside the tank, they wouldn't have the headset on either because they'd have to detach it before they could get out. Again, the faces are perfect. I love the faces. I love this kit. The detail on the clothes, the folds, the detail on the uniforms. Really crisp. A little bit of cleanup along the mole line, but that's standard for any digger kit, even resins. So, but the faces, I'm impressed. Look at the faces. They're really beautiful. Nicely done. Good detail, good expression. All right. So, that's your standing crew figures. What can I say? I am impressed with this kit. All right, so like I said, if you're in the market for a tank crew set, this would definitely be one to go looking for, okay? You get eight figures in it, and the details, facial details, are near to your um, expensive resin kits, okay? If you can spend 30 bucks plus on a single resin figure, this is well worth having all right so definitely guys i would recommend this kit i'm very happy with it all right so that brings us to the end of this review i hope you've got something from it i know i'm impressed with this new kit relatively new kit i should say the molding is first class okay so definitely keep your eyes out for this one anyway like i said that's the end of this review Hope you've got something from it. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as usual, until next time, take it easy, stay well, and I'll see you later.